Franco's family home was attacked by hundreds of people on the night of the 10th of November. When they heard the explosion, my brother and a few people came to this side and the first thing they did was to get the women and the elderly out. The family escaped by scaling the walls and just in time, their home was looted and burned. They destroyed the kitchen. This is one of the children's bedrooms. Franco's father, Waldo Albaracin, is a rector at a public university. His students had demanded the resignation of Evo Morales. I think the aim of the attack was to intimidate people, and it worked. When Evo Morales left power, angry crowds marched out of their working-class neighborhoods. In the south of La Paz, entire communities have been preparing to defend themselves. People came to the police station and attacked it. They set it on fire. Local residents are so fearful that they patrol their streets at night and have even armed themselves with rocks. We set up an alert system. It's like a panic button that can be triggered by any neighbor from their phone if they spot anything unusual. But neighbors wish such measures weren't needed. In La Paz, we all live together, but fear has divided us. They get told we are going to attack them, which isn't true. And we get told that they will attack us. The political crisis has reignited deep divides in Bolivian society. On the one hand, the mainly indigenous and rural working class supportive of the ex-president, and on the other, the mainly white and mixed race middle class. Under Morales, these disparate groups had learnt to live together, but recent clashes call into question the country's stability.